So, so the Southern Poverty Law Center classifies the American Family Association as a hate group for their extremist views on abortions, yeah. Muslims, and especially gays. Uh -huh. Ooh, the dreaded gays. And that is what this historical approximation is all about. The American Family Association, gaiety, and Christian orgies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, my love of the American Family Association and their broadcasting arm, the American Family Radio, is well documented. Probably too well documented. <laughs> But I love American Family Radio. I mainly listen for American Family News every hour on the hour during the weekdays. They play Christian news. Yeah. Okay. And it's four minutes of Christian news. And I really like it because in the beginning, it's, it's good to listen to it because they try and rush through all of the important stories to get to the stories they want to talk about. Okay. American Family News. I'm Steve Jordahl. A massive 8.3 thousand earthquake in Mexico. Let's talk about that for 30 seconds. Now let's talk about this baker. Mm -hmm. Who only wanted to discriminate against people who are different. Yes. <laughs> it's really, I love listening to American Family Radio. I love it. And they have one of their reporters on American Family Radio. This is true. One of their reporters is named Rusty Pew. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a I... wonderful name. He's named after something Christians use. I don't see why I would have to declare my sexual orientation to get some cookies. You know, I... Yeah, yeah. You know, we're going to have to go into every shop everywhere and hi heterosexual yeah y you know so it's, it's, no <laughs> yeah it's it's ridiculous oh crap uh i'm sorry uh global force wrestling and the imperial wrestling <sighs> federation the an Imperial Wrestling Revolution are having a uh, wrestling event um, about two blocks away from where I live Yeah, on October 21st. And it features a bunch of people I haven't heard of from a for a long time. Like I see uh, Jack Swagger there. He's a wrestler from a long time ago. Um, MVP, I see him there. Yeah. And a bunch of other people who I don't know. And uh, 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 Pentagon Jr. Oh. Pentagon Jr. is coming. Yeah. To the Fire Lake Arena about a block away. Like three blocks away from where I live. Oh, Lucha Underground's go. own Pentagon Jr. That's wonderful. I'm going to have to, I absolutely have to go to this stupid thing. No. That's wonderful. Pentagon Jr. You know that Lucha Underground Season 4 is in trouble when Pentagon Jr. is coming to my crappy town. Yeah. Like, that's not the best sign of success there, Pentagon. But anyway, anywho... Um, it, 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 but I, I'm I'm upset, Bonnie, that you don't like the name Rusty Pew. He's named after something Christians use to show their Christianity. Yes, that's like if there's a Catholic out there named Turquoise Rosary. <laughs> wow, that doubles as his name and what he uses to show his Christianity. Yes, Rusty Pew. What a these, wonderful name. These people don't use pews. They. They use folding chairs. Yeah, these aren't people. These aren't people that are kneeling for forgiveness. These are people uh, uh, waving their hands and uh, speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. uh, but, ah. but with all the folding chairs, 
Pentagon Jr. would feel quite comfortable. Exactly, yeah. You can just have a hardcore match at any time. So and I and I am finding it very amusing picturing Pentagon Jr. attending church services. Yeah, breaking the pastor's arm. Yeah. But American Family Radio, AFR, is just one part of the massive, multi-tentacled organization known as AFA, the American Family Association. They are a big lobbying group. They are a big uh, Christian organization, fundamentalist Christian organization. A bit of history on them. They were originally founded in 1977. Back then, they were called the National Federation of Decency. (laughs) <laughs> Which gives you a much better understanding of AFA's motives. Yes. Originally, they were focused on cleaning up TV and radio and shit. But then they transformed into the American Family Association with a very generic sounding focus on issues that affect the family. So basically anything they don't like. Yes. Way to, way to cast a real wide net there, guys. <laughs> So they're known nowadays primarily as an they, active And they want me to, sorry, and they want me to worry about Sharia law. Yeah. They want yeah, me they, to worry about Sharia law when that is exactly what they are doing. Yeah, they want you to worry about Muslims taking over your neighborhood while at the same time being concerned Christians that have to stop any TV or movie that has something that they disagree with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've yeah, been, I've actually been watching sense. I've actually been watching a documentary on the life of Brian cuz it's so good. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it is so good. If you you <clears throat> must have googled some of the uh must have YouTube some of the some of the interviews with John Cleese and Michael Palin and stuff. Yeah, probably. If if not, you have to see it. Where cuz they did a whole panel show with John Cleese and Michael Palin ran for like an hour, hour and a half and a vicar and some other yes. religious. Yes. I am aware of that because that is the, uh, dramatic ending to a movie that they made. It was a live action movie about the making of the life of Brian. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they played that whole thing. The, 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 the vicar and the rabbi or whatever, they didn't even see the beginning of the film. They came in like 10 minutes into the film. Mm-hmm. And they totally railroaded John Cleese and Michael Palin. And Michael Palin, being like the calm, gentle, level-headed one, ended up walking out. Because he was so pissed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you gotta be pretty twisted to piss off Michael Palin. <laughs> yes. You know? He's just traveling around the world with with his umbrella, having a pip pip cheerio time. Yeah. Like, what did you do? You broke Michael Palin. <laughs> I didn't even think this was possible. How did you do that? So that's the world that they want us to live in. Yes, they yes. want us to live yes. under their Sharia law. Yes. Yeah, they 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 want us to. They don't want to live under Muslim rule. They want to live under Christian rule. Right. So. And the rest of us don't want to be ruled by either fucking one of you. Yeah. So nowadays, the American Family Association is an activist organization, and they rally really well against pretty much anything non jesus y. They boycott TV shows, companies, brands, stores. Oh, no! We Christians need to band together and fight for decency. Guys, yeah. NYPD Blue is going to show a butt. Yeah. Uh-huh. When? A, a fat, hairy butt, too. Yeah. Like not- We're going to show a naked butt on TV. When? Jesus is crying. A butt that absolutely nobody really wanted to see to begin what? with. I didn't mean to lean. What the hell was the yeah. name of that actor? Danny something. Or... Franz? For yes. Real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dennis Franz? I yeah. Think? Yeah. Just a hairy little mookie guy. Yeah. 
He is like, like two like, genetic uh, strands away from being Danny DeVito. Yeah. Okay, so now if anybody doesn't, everybody knows Danny DeVito. Picture looking at his hairy ass. N- nobody yeah. wants to see it, yet they still wanted to keep it off of television, which made it news and everybody knew about it. Not even Rhea Perlman wanted to see Danny DeVito's naked ass. They got divorced. Yeah. Together. No. 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 You know, I, think, I, I honestly, for the longest time, years and years, believed the only reason they were together was because they were the same height. That's, <laughs> that's a good... No, seriously, like, that, yeah, was, no. that was young Natasha thinking. Yeah, yeah. So you're saying we shouldn't be together because I'm slightly taller than you. Yeah, you're three inches taller than me. We have to break up. Yeah, <laughs> that sucks. Sorry. Yeah, well, so, the, the so the American Family Association is all like, oh... American Family Association people, no more Campbell's Soup. You can't (laughs) use any Campbell's Soup anymore. Guys, they bought an ad in The Advocate. (laughs) So now, guys, no Christian is ever allowed to to have soup anymore. Because gay people can't have soup. Yeah. These are the type of these are the type of bands that the American Family Association does. A lot of times they are very successful because they have their arms uh, one million moms and one million dads, a bunch of old Christians that are just waiting for an email about something to get pissed about. Yeah. And so it, not only do they like attack a network for showing a show like Preacher, but then do you need me to move my stuff? No, I'm just wondering why you moved the box and then put this box in. It, it, to have the tablet be taller. But there was a box already mm, on my desk. It was too big of a box. I would have been like this. I would have had my neck up. I would have hurt my neck. And then I wouldn't have been able to do my job. And then I would have been fired. And then we would have been homeless. Is that what you want to be homeless? Uh, logic. <laughs> so... That doesn't sound logic, but that's cool. Hey, come on, Ellie. So they they get super upset about little things. Not like right now they're really pissed off about Preacher, about the show Preacher, obviously. Yeah. So not only are they attacking the network for showing Preacher, not only are they attacking the people who star and make Preacher, but also they are watching the show and finding out. <laughs> every commercial that's on the show and then attacking each brand individually. Oh. And because they have so many angry Christians, that's like one million angry emails that they'll get Yeah, from Christians pissed off about how dare you run an ad during the uh, Adult Swim show Black Jesus. We'll never use your antiperspirant again. <laughs> and a lot of times they're successful. A lot of companies are pussies and they'll just tap out, you know? Yeah. They'll just tap out to massive amounts of pressure. But most of the time AFA's activism is kind of kind of wussy, like, oh my goodness, how dare 7 Eleven sell a Playboy? Yes. Like, ooh, you're really changing the world there, Christians. Mm-hmm. And it goes without saying that the American Family Association hates Target. Yes, I've mentioned yes, this, it does. Mentioned this before on the show. Uh, the American Family Association, one million moms, one million dads. Their hatred for Target is massive, and it's a skew. It is a skew because number one, there is a major book chain out there that announced that their bathroom policy was one hundred percent the same. Uh as target but you don't see christians boycotting the bookstore probably because they uh now the majority of america is already boycotting it yes (laughs) so there's that 
But still, if these uh, angry Christians with the American Family Association were serious about Target's bathroom policy, they would also be picketing a major bookstore chain, which they are not. Number two, the way that the American Family Association rallies against Target is flawed. What they do is they say, Target needs to change their bathroom policy. This is dangerous, and it will lead to dangerous moments. Rapists will rape your daughters and your wives in the bathrooms and this is going to be dangerous and they need to change it and so what what uh, the american family association does now is they look for any bad story of anything that happens in a single target yeah and when they find that they use that as uh as proof that they're right so what uh, the american family association is doing is saying oh target's bathroom policy is causing danger because in Tupelo, Mississippi, a pervert was trying to take pictures of women in the dressing room. <laughs> That's why they should change their bathroom policy. Mm-hmm. It's like, wait a second. Those two things are in no way freaking related. Yeah. Yeah. Just because uh, transgendered people are allowed to use the bathroom of their choosing doesn't mean perverts now are taking upskirts yes yes you know those two things there's not a, a correlation there so and the i wonder what their religion may be yeah yeah that's that's another so the afa has some stupid beliefs but it's their twisted view on homosexuality that is that was the primary the primary cause of the Southern Poverty Law Center classifying AFA as a hate group in two, November of 2010. The AFA believes, among other things, among so many other things concerning gays, that the First Amendment doesn't apply to gays. Yes. The First Amendment actually only applies to Christians, apparently. I didn't know that. Thank you, American Family Association. <laughs> Their former director of issues analysis... Brian Fisher, who has a very popular radio show on the American Family Radio Network, said in 2015 that homosexuals and homosexuality gave us Adolf Hitler. Okay. In fact, that's a whole theme with the AFA, that the Nazis were gay, Adolf Hitler was gay, and the Nazi party was started in a gay nightclub. Yeah, the AFA sucks is what I'm trying to say. Yes. In fact, in 2012, a jury was forming for a case where a lesbian couple had their child kidnapped, and the AFA, the American Family Association, stood up and came to the defense mm -hmm. of the kidnappers, saying that it shouldn't be illegal to kidnap the children of gay parents because then you can smuggle them into what the American Family Association called normal homes yeah so just to reiterate the american family association condones child kidnapping yes yeah yeah yes, I it's a one to, i don't know what happened to christianity <laughs> you know mm -hmm. christianity has just been slowly mutating into this weird bizarre thing where christians can can just it's all about the Trump. About that the Trump. Nazis, about that the Trump. Nazis are gay. You should be able to kidnap children. It just it makes no sense to me. But yeah, to reiterate, the American Family Association supported a child kidnapper. That's so ironic. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what Alanis Morissette was singing about. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that there's like a B side somewhere of that song. It's like rain on your wedding day if the American Family Association condoning child kidnapping. <laughs> it rhymes if you sing child kidnapping the right way. Yeah. In a Morissettian way, a Morissettian tone. But see, like Cronenberg, Morissettian. Yeah. But they they have oh, they may not have been um, Ameri the American Family Association but they have always been here, you know? Yeah. And there have always been those fights. Uh, when I was a kid, it was Karen Quinlan. Remember Karen Quinlan, baby? I, yeah. Huh. She she was in some, I, I don't know. She was basically a vegetable. 
She yeah. was in some kind of accident or she took drugs, I forget. She was in a coma for like five years and the doctors were saying there there is just no life in her anymore and we're running the machinery for no reason. Mm. And the family agreed to that. So they would decide they had decided to pull the plug and it was a huge fucking deal. Who is this again that you're talking about? Karen Quinlan. Karen Quinlan. Okay, gotcha. I would be if you're looking it up, I would be interested in the date on that. No, I'm not looking uh, it up. I'm just dressing as a giant raccoon. And then where where was it that the the, which one, after Karen Quinlan, there was the woman who was dying, and she was pregnant, and Christians put up a big, a big fuss about them aborting the baby. Yeah. And then there was that Shriver woman. Was it Shriver? I forget who was really sick and wanted to be taken off of life support and they raised a fuss about that and yeah. that is the problem that i have with christians these things are not your business yeah yeah not your business these not things business. are not so don't have the plug pulled on you last i saw they were in there 